A fairly common asked questions by Qiskit users is how can I create a multi-qubit control gate? So for example, how can I apply a Y gate to qubit 3 if qubit 0 is in state 0, qubit 1 is in state 1, and qubit 0 is in state 0? So let's take a look and see how we can generate this type of gates. So as always, let's first import our uh, quantum circuit class. And let's create a very simple circuit. So let's say a quantum circuit with two qubits. And if we want to generate just a control Y gate, what we can do is use this method called CY, right? C for control, Y for Y gate, and specify first the control qubit and then the target qubit. And if we draw that, we can see that this generates that, that gate. But what if we want to increase the number of control qubits? Well, there's no method for a control control Y gate, right? So I cannot do a CCY here. That just would throw an error. So what we need to do is first understand that, that this methods to add gates to circuits are just shortcuts. So let's, let's look at, for example, the simple circuit where I apply a Y gate to uh, qubit one. Well, this is equivalent to actually calling the Y gate from the Qiskit circuit library and then appending it to our circuit. So uh, let's take a look explicitly how that's done. So let's do import Qiskit circuit library and let's import everything as qlib and then let's create this y gate object uh, by calling it from the qlib library so we do qlib dot y gate and then we can see that if now i create a quantum circuit with two qubits and then I use this append method where I'm going to append my Y gate to qubit one, just like we did here above, we can see that we get the exact same circuit here. So, so this, this method here is equivalent to calling a gate from the circuit library and then appending it. Now, why did it go through the trouble of, of showing this? Well, because this is what allows us to add controls to our gates. So if I now change this from Y gate to, let's say I'm gonna call this object CY gate, I can now use this control method here, so control, and then I specify the number of control qubits I want. So let's say I want three control qubits for, for my CY gate. So then now if I'm gonna have three control qubits, and one qubit where the gate is going to be applied. My quantum circuit needs to have four qubits, right? And then I just can append this, this new CY gate to qubits zero, one, two, and three. And then if I draw that, I get this three qubit control Y gate. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to apply the Y gate to qubit three if all Q0, Q1, and Q2 are equal to one. But what if I want to change the way that Y gate gets applied? What if I want to do what I was uh, specifying here in the example, uh, that it gets applied when this one's zero, this one's one, and this one's zero? Well, here in this control method, what we can do is pass this parameter, control state, and then I have to pass a string that specifies how I want the control to be applied. So for example, if I want this to be activated when qubit zero is zero, then I apply a zero here. Then for qubit one equal to one, a one here. And for qubit two equal to zero, a zero here. So this will activate this gate when this is zero, one, zero. And then we can see that right here. Uh, and I can change that to say, uh, qubit two and qubit one equal to one and qubit zero equal to zero. So I do one, one, zero, and that will change the way that gate gets applied. And this can be done for any gate from the qubit library. So I can do the same thing for, let's say a Hadamard gate. So let's change the names here to control Hadamard, control Hadamard. And then now the gate that gets applied is a Hadamard gate. 
or even a Z gate, right? So I can do CZ and then use the Z gate here and then apply that C gate here. And there we have it. Now a question I, I see being asked a lot is for this uh, multi-control Z gate, why is it that the, the explicit C gate doesn't show up in qubit three? Well, the reason it doesn't explicitly show is because the Z gate applies a phase of minus one to the whole state when uh, this qubits meet the condition of this one being zero, this one being one, this one being zero, this one being one, right? So it, you know, if I put all equal to one, that means that when uh, the state is one, 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 then a phase of minus one will get applied. So it really doesn't explicitly apply a gate to a specific qubit. However, sometimes it is important to show where that gate is being applied if you're thinking not just uh, from a computational basis standpoint, but from, let's say, a Hallamer basis uh, point of view. So there is a trick in, in which you can still uh, show that the, the gate is being applied there. So, so let's look and see how could we do that. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to create a circuit, let's call it a Z circuit or C circ, um, that is a quantum circuit just with one qubit. Then to that C circuit, I'm going to apply a Z gate on the only qubit we have available. And then what I can do is I can convert this circuit into a gate. And for that, I'm going to call that Z gate. And I can do C circuit. So this is my circuit. And I can use this to gate method. And what I can do here now is specify this parameter label, which is going to show um, displayed in the block that this gate corresponds to. So for, in this case, I want to label it as Z. And now, because this is a gate, I can apply that same control method we were applying to, to the gates we were importing from, from the Q library, from the Qiskit circuit library. So I can do, for example, here, uh, I want to have three control qubits and I can do control state. And for now, let's, let's uh, put them all at one. And then I can create the quantum circuit where I'm going to uh, append this gate to so quantum circuit. And I have three control qubits and then another qubit for where the, the gate is going to be applied. So it will be a a quantum circuit with four qubits and then I can do QC append Z gate and then to qubits 0, 1, 2 and 3 and then let's draw that and here we have it we have our uh, three qubit control Z gate and I can change you know the, con the control state for uh, the control qubits and, and that would change accordingly so I hope this is helpful and let me know if uh, you have any questions.